So something which often causes confusion, embarrassment, and is often misdiagnosed, is a thing called retrograde ejaculation. Now normally when a man ejaculates, the combination of muscular contractions and contractions in his reproductive system expel the sperm and the semen out through the end of the penis during either masturbation or intercourse. But on some occasions, a man may feel the sensation of orgasm, but nothing may appear at the end of his penis, and that can be quite confusing. It's something that can just happen spontaneously every now and again, but in some men they find that they once ejaculated, but now they don't, but they still have the same sensations of orgasm. Now clearly if there's nothing coming out at the end of the penis, that can be um, something that will inhibit conception. So it's something that ought to be investigated and it's something that the man ought to think about in terms of whether or not it's a cause of his infertility. It often happens in men with um, conditions like diabetes, where they suffer a thing called peripheral neuropathy. It can happen following certain drug treatments, it can happen following certain surgeries. And what's happened almost certainly in those cases is that the man is now suffering from what we call retrograde ejaculation. So the sperm is being moved through his body, but it's finding itself into the bladder and not being released from the end of his penis. And clearly the sperm are therefore in the wrong place if he's trying for a baby. It's not dangerous to have sperm and semen in your bladder, but clearly it's a barrier to conception. Now the test to identify this is that the man needs to go to a hospital and be asked to produce a urine sample after he has masturbated to orgasm. And if we see sperm in his urine, then that is a test or that is a, a sign that retrograde ejaculation has occurred. In those cases, we can help the man achieve pregnancy by getting the sperm from the bladder. We often give him fluids to drink, things like sodium bicarbonate to try and neutralize the acidity of the urine. And we can extract the sperm very easily from the urine and then we can use those sperm to inseminate into his partner or we could use them in IVF or ICSI if there aren't as many of them. But it's almost certainly a physiological change in his body that's happened either because of aging or because of a disease or some treatment that he's had. It often causes confusion among men. What's happened to my body? Why am I not ejaculating anymore? And it's often misdiagnosed by doctors. So I think if anybody is trying for a baby and they sense that they're not ejaculating as much as they used to when they were a younger man, it's worth mentioning that to the GP and for the GP to arrange to have the necessary tests performed.